morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you're tuning into this channel across the world. Welcome to Afri's Concept TV, and thank you for tuning into this channel. The news headline At least, see how much Godwin Eme Feely was transferring to former National Security Advisors' accounts for a good two years. That will shock you. Once again, you're welcome to today's news. I thank you for tuning into this channel. Kindly listen to the hand. The news details. Between August 2016 and November 2018, the Office of the National Security Advisor, under the command of Major General Babagana Mungunu, retired received multiple transfers from Central Bank of Nigeria, totaling $616 million, over 400 billion naira. This unusual practice exposes the upper queue dealings of the CBN under recently suspended Governor Godwin Emefili. According to a report by Business Day, Information that was retrieved from the website of the CBN revealed that the nation's central bank began making these transactions to the NSA in August of 2016, which was almost a year into the term of the previous president, Muhammad Buhari. According to the statistics provided by CBN that dates back to 2004, such a transfer was not carried out in the years leading up to that point. However, following the completion of the initial transfer, the practice continued on a monthly basis on, until November of 2018. Because the CBN has not provided any statistics on its operation since 2018, it is now unknown whether or not the peculiar payments have continued. November of 2016 saw the single greatest transfer of $139 million, which took place. The current exchange rate in Nigeria results in $616 million being equal to 426 billion naira, which is a third of the total sum that is planned for defense in 2022. The CPN did not respond to an SMS message that requested a statement from them. Such outlaws from the CBN to the office of the NSA raised a red flag and begs the question of what it was used for. A former officer of the central bank who did not want to be quoted said, Such outflows raise a red flag and begs the question of what it was used for. Everything that has to go to security should be completely open and conducted in the currency of the area. Even if we assume it was for the importation of ammunition, it should be in the public domain, but this isn't. Something is wrong, the source added. It should be in the public domain but this is not. According to a second source, more than half a billion dollars cannot move from the office of the CBN to the office of the NSA without the approval of the president, who ironically detained Sambo Dazuki for misappropriation of funds. After being indicted by a panel for stealing $2 billion dollars, that was intended for the procurement of weaponry and ammunition for the Nigerian military. Dazuki, who served as NSA under former President Kudlok Jonathan, was sentenced to more than four years in prison. Dazuki was incarcerated for more than four years. The very corruption that Buhari sought to end thrived right under his nose one additional insider told Business Day. They whined about how much money went under the radar under Jonathan, 
but it seems that they have questions of their own to answer, said the source, who did not want to be mentioned because of the sensitivity of the matter. It seems that they have questions of their own to answer. In the early days of Buari administration, former Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo made numerous allegations that large sums of money in local and foreign currencies had been stolen by some people in the administration that was led by former President Jonathan and the People's Democratic Party a few weeks before the 2015 general election. Godwin Emefele, the now suspended um, chairman of um, CBN, although he has been suspended and apprehended and now is in the custody of the DSS. Um, during um, 2016 to 2018, it was recorded that um, the Office of the National Security Advisor under the command of the Major General um, Babang- Babagana Monguno actually received multiple transfers from CBN. That um, Emefile then um, transferred money to major general um, account totaling 616 million dollars which is 400 billion naira. so um this actually happened under um the administration of godwin Ebefili when he was the chairman of efcc like how will you send 660 million dollars even if it's for ammunition like even if it's for ammunition, okay, where are the ammunitions that you want him to buy? Okay, let's say that it's for security ammunition since the man is the national security advisor. But where is the ammunition? We can't find any ammunition. And that money is even a lot for ammunition. So um, it was recorded that the money was, um, the first transaction was made in 2016. The first transaction was made in 2016. And the transaction was is one of the greatest transfer of 139 million dollars like a single transfer of 139 million dollars into the nsa um nsa's um command um the 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 nsa's major general account these the, the command of major general babangana monguno it's the first um single transfer of that amount that was sent to his accounts like it was not even sent to nsa account if it was sent to nsa account now we know that yes this is what they want to use it for but if they know that it's it's a it's a clean money and it's not that they want to steal money why are they sending it to a private account why did they make they send that money to a private account and not to nsa account in general so the first one was sent in 2016 139 million dollar then uh, from there in 20 the transaction was was made from that 2016 till 2018 so after that 2018 we don't know if they continue the transaction because they stopped giving record of their spending so we cannot say if it's continued or not so can you justify a mayfield arrest as being right that it's it's good the way it was arrested kindly share your view in the comment section and don't forget to like and share and also click on the subscribe button to subscribe and the bell for more updates we've come to the end of today's news thank you for listening to the hand